Good morning, my sisters and my brothers. Please accept my apology. I have been trying to stop posting. I'm doing so much of it, and as I reflect on them, I'm repeating myself over and over again. So I find myself here with another one, ladies and gentlemen. And here's what I want to say to you if you haven't figured it out already. The coronavirus is devastating. It's causing havoc all across the world. But what is it? Have you figured that out yet? It is a curse of nature. Let me say it again. The coronavirus is a curse of nature. And what does it speak to? It speaks to the fact who and what we have pretended to be rather than being who and what we are. If you watch movies, they give you a little bit of history. You Recall how the Pharaohs and the Caesars proclaimed themselves as God and what they would do to maintain their power as God. And as a consequence, and ladies and gentlemen, it didn't just start there. Now, that was just a, a statement in time that had been, I don't, for one reason or another, uh, programmed so you can see it. I think it has been a teaching mechanism for those who wanted to believe that they themselves are gods. What happens, ladies and gentlemen, is this. It allows for evil to perpetuate itself continuously. And the kind of evil I'm talking about is hatred, is bigotry, is racism, is some better, deserve better, special, superior, and it has allowed for poverty and crime and violence and suffering of all kind to exist. For my friends, this is what we refer to as devil action. And so it has been an accepted way of, uh, or should I say, an accepted conduct by people everywhere, everywhere in every land. And so when the curse comes, it comes and it affects People everywhere, the intent is not to kill everybody, but to get your attention that you are representing evil. And out of that, evil has formed itself out in nature and it's speaking to you, to those of you who can and will hear. Now, you can end this when you change your hearts, when you change your attitude toward one another that have thousands of years of being built. What am I saying? Replace hatred with love, racism with love, bigotry with love. And how does that come out? It comes out like this, treating people like you want to be treated, making sure that as you are blessed and want to be blessed, that you give up yourselves to bless one another the same way. And nature would never come upon the people of the earth this way. So what I am saying to the American people and perhaps the people all over the land, right now, the medicine that you're giving, the medicine that you're trying to find to, to settle this is not in a tube, it's in the heart. It's in the heart. Republicans and Democrats hate the other's attitude towards life. Republicans and Democrats do not trust one another. That's evil. This is what the coronavirus lives on. So if you're going to try to get rid of things that are evil, you put away your guns and you take the bread basket and see how you can feed a million of people with a small loaf, how you can feed billions of people with a few fish. You change your attitude and say, if one can eat, we all can eat. If one can laugh, we all can laugh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you are getting ready for uh, what uh, an election for president of the United States, and you already see what happened in, in uh, Wisconsin. You see the devil is still working. You see how the devil across the South is trying everything it can to make sure it wins. You, ladies and gentlemen, you can put the Republicans back in office again, but you don't win. You can put the Democrats back in office again, but you don't win. The sickness and the diseases that exist is sitting right there in nature, observing you. So as a brother who tells you that I got some connection with truth, a brother who can tell you that I am one who follows the spirit of love and willing to not just talk it but live it, 
I'm saying to you, we have an opportunity right now to change the whole, well, let's start with America. And if we can do that, we probably can change the whole world. And it is just by doing what is right. It is just by treating each other like we want to be treated. Listen, I have a follow, a video called The Finale. Please listen to it. And after that, I believe the video is called A Brand New System. A system change. That's what we're asking for. That is what is required in America. And if you cannot change the system in America, who you going to blame? Trump? It don't matter. Who you going to blame? The Democrats? doesn't matter. See, ladies and gentlemen, the power begins with you changing you. And when you change you, the system, my friend, doesn't make any difference. Thank you for listening.